What's up guys, we're the Van Witch Club. Today we want to do something we've wanted to do for a while. Collectively, we're both very big proponents and, and fans of vinyl records and personally I've collected a lot over the years. I have a collection of like 600 records. And collectively, the influences that both of us share within music are vastly different. So we wanted to start doing something where we could both bring vinyl records and our love for vinyl records into the band and we wanted to showcase a little bit more of who we are as musicians and show you a bit of our favorite records. So today both of us have brought three records we want to show you them and these records are mainly to show the influences that we bring to the band and kind of show how music has influenced the band's writing style. Cool, let's get into it. Hey guys, still here from Witch Club. The first record I have that I brought for you guys today is Dude Ranch from Blink-182. This album has uh, really influenced me with the uh, fast-paced melodies that are incorporated into it. I really like this album because the whole album really describes a lot of my high school and a lot of the stories. And I'm also a really big Star Wars fan and they did a little Star Wars-esque song on it called The New Hope. Um, this album, they got really big with their debut with uh, Damn It. The reason why I chose this album, uh, influentially, it the speed that it delivers with the music and the melodies that are incorporated into it have really influenced how I write some guitar melodies and the poppiness of it. If, uh, if I were to recommend one or two songs on this album to give it a really good listen, it would be Waggy and Apple Shampoo. Both are very great songs, both have a lot of meaning behind it, and I really feel like they're just solid songs. The first record that I brought is Scurrilous by Protest the Hero. This record is, is actually the first record that got me into super technical music. And it's the first record that I got into Protest the Hero specifically. Um, the, the thing that stood out to me from this record was the, uh, the technicality and the efficiency in which they would do like the very like start and stop, like very choppy riffs and how tight it would be. And just the, the technicality mixed with the musicality, it's, it showed me a different way of going about music because for a long time it was just that technicality and musicality were, were just not something that existed together and bands like Protest the Hero showed me that you can make music on a highly technical level while still maintaining mu the music aspect and in many cases personally I feel like maintaining a much more complex and much more interesting aspect of musicality and this is the record that really got me into that and it really shows a lot within the Witch Club stuff with the technicality, the complex rhythms that we use. Um, it really just, this record influenced a lot of that. This was my gateway into technical music. The second album I brought today was the self-titled LP from Social Distortion. I brought this album specifically because this was the album that really introduced me into the punk genre. Um, this album is a track to track front to back play all the way through it's got great stories built into it great lyrics all the way through Mike Ness did a really really good job with it um, influentially this album really brought me back to the classic rock and roll chords that I use in my chord progressions when I'm writing for Witch Club uh, if you listen to the song Ball and Chain or even Story of My Life both of those are very great classic rock and roll songs with the essence of punk into it. And that is self-titled by Switch Distortion. The second record I brought in today is Wildlife by Lotus Butte. And if you know me personally, you know that Lotus Butte has been one of my biggest influences in the fans for a very long time. And the writing on this record specifically is written in, in such a way that reads almost like a journal. It reads less like a chorus verse chorus like kind of basic song structure it doesn't read metaphorically it doesn't read in a way that in a way that is abstract for a song like a lot of songs do the way that the record the way that the lyrics read on this record 
read almost like like a personal account, like a personal retelling. And the thing about this record is that it's conceptually made about something that would lend it to be that way. The the concept of the record is is so interesting, and the the way that they went about writing the lyrics just adds that concept so so exponentially. And the lyricism specifically, just the way it was written, has inspired me in my writing style so much. Just to tell very vivid and very straightforward stories in very complex and very thought-provoking manners of and thought-provoking subjects. And not only the lyricism, but the the subject matter that's being talked about in the, in the, the subject matter that's being talked about in the song, and the way that the band musically reflects the tone of that record, and that has influenced a lot of how we've written the song Wish Club. And for the third and final record, I brought out one of the classics, a very well-known album, Homesick from A Day to Remember. This is what got me into the metalcore genre. Fun, catchy breakdowns, incredible screams. Uh, if it weren't for this, I wouldn't be into my chugging. I wouldn't be into the low tunings. Um, it's a very well-known record, but if you haven't heard, I strongly suggest uh, The Downfall of Us All or Mr. Highway is Thinking About the End. Both very aggressive songs. Very just want to get shit done and want to power through something. Good workout song. Highly recommend this album. The third record I brought today is The Ugly Organ by Cursor. And this record, the way it inspired me was the use of different sounds and different instruments and, and different dissonances, chord structures, just all around the musicality of this record has influenced me so greatly. And the time that I got into this, I was playing very straightforward, like pop music, just very like almost formulaic stuff going along, just very basic. And what really related to my personal resonance with dissonance and different voicings and songs. And in this record, the use of organs, cellos, just dissonant guitars, feedbacks, uh, it's just all culminates into this very epic sounding record. And that has played such a big part in the writing of Witch Club, especially the mixing of Witch Club, of adding cellos here or violins here or soundscapes here. And we've done and made such an effort to make very interesting songs with very interesting voicings and this is the record that really inspired that for me. So that is collectively six records that influenced the writing of the band and the style that we have come to. So if you guys like this content we really want to do more of it. Like, comment, subscribe, follow us if you really like this stuff and we'll keep doing it. Cool, peace.